discuss with Namdi Kano Okeze Ikbarazu Terrorist Federal Government. <laughs> of course, but that is the right thing to do. The Nigerian government is just trying to be stubborn. I don't know why. Some persons who have reacted here are saying because uh, Mazen Namikano is from the southeast and all that. May they not still forget, forget say, waiting this young man, they talk. You know, they talk anyhow. Say, Nigeria, not they marginalize them. Kano is a product of injustice of Nigerian government. This is what the government is supposed to look into, not by, you know, crucifying him and uh, other agitators. This is not how to do things. Even the federal government, they themselves, they know. You have no case against this young man, but you keep on stretching issues. This is really very bad. You don't want to look into the roots of agitation, but you want to go after agitators. This is bad, though. This is really very bad. It's now time for all Southeast leaders to stand on this. This advice, uh, the Abia state uh, governor have just given to the Nigerian government. Discuss with Nandikano. Let there be a round table talk. You talk, you negotiate. If you can do that with bandits and Boko Haram, and at the end of the day you pay, why can't you do that to a freedom fighter who felt neglected, who felt that he has been pushed out of the government because of where he's coming from? This thing no good. It's very, very unfortunate that most of the Southeast, Southeast leaders, they don't care. They are not really, I don't know, maybe because they are comfortable with their little space and all that. They see agitators as a threat to them. But it's not like that. It's not like that. You people cannot say that the Southeasterners are not, are not marginalized. Well, the government has been pretending all this way. If not, it did not start today. It's just that the other governments, then they cover up. You know, then they try to cover up, maybe give two or three positions from, in a position from the southeast region and all that. But this Buhari government just let them know, I don't like you now, Bisa, I don't like you now. And nothing you can do about it. I don't like you, Bisa, I don't like you. And that is it. You understand? Anyway, let's get straight to the news and get the full details. Abia State Governor Dr. Okeze Ikbazo has taxed the federal government to sit and discuss with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Mazen Namdekano, and listen to what he is saying about the marginalization of, of the Igbo in Nigeria. The governor further stated that he may not be a fan of the IPO leader, but wants some of the issues he has raised to be looked into. He said the federal government needs to sit down and discuss with Namdekano and ask what can we do. We can stay at the table to listen to what he is saying. You can win a battle of cons conscience through the court. Do we need Namdekano to tell us that there is no Igbo in the hierarchy of service chiefs in Nigeria? Do we need Namdekano to tell us that Ndigbo is marginalized in Nigeria? Do we need Namdekano to tell us that rice that was sold for 10,000 naira now goes for 40,000 naira a bag? You need to listen to the young man. You need to listen to the, to the Igbo who are the only true Nigerian. How many times have you seen Baba Lola Nigerian Limited in Azikiwe Road, Abia? How many times have you seen Alaji Kazuri, Nigeria Limited, in Umaya? But there is no street in the southwest or not that you don't see Igbo businesses, he said. So guys, what's your take on this? Abia State Governor Dr. Okeze Ikbazu asks the federal government to sit and discuss with the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Aipo. Marzi Namdekano and listen to what he is saying 
about the marginalization of the Igbo in Nigeria. The governor further stated that he may not be a fan of the IPOB leader, but wants some of the issues he has raised to be looked into. He said, the federal government needs to sit down and discuss with Namdekanu and ask what can we do. We can stay at the table to listen to what he is saying. We can't win a battle of conscience through the court. Do we need Namdekanu to tell us that there is no Igbo in the hierarchy of service chiefs in Nigeria? Do we need Namdekanu to tell us that Ndigbo is marginalized in Nigeria? Do we need Namdekanu to tell us that rice that was sold for 10,000 naira now goes for 40,000? You need to listen to the Igbo, who are the only true Nigerian. How many times have you seen Baba Lola Nigerian Limited in Azikiwe Road, Abia, Abba, 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 your pardon. How many times have you seen Alaji Kazari Nigerian Limited in Umaya? But there is no street in the southwest or south or north that you don't see Igbo businesses, he said. Meanwhile, the courts have uh, adjoined Mazen and Likano's court case. You know, I beg your pardon, the court adjoins Namdekano's appeal against terrorism charge to give date for judgment. Arguing the appeal chief Ozako Mensan alleged that his client Namdekano was forcefully adopted from Kenya and illegally redemption back to Nigeria. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.